morning. It's day six. It's Friday the 27th of July. This is Kirby Stephen and it's eight o'clock in the morning. I've got uh, more time today because it's only 12 miles to Keld. So I'm knocking about the town first for a little bit. Spent a nice hour in the morning, Kirby Stephen, very nice place. And uh, this is Frank's Bridge, back on the path now. St. B's 82 mile, Robin Hood's Bay 108 mile, right. Got some work to do then, back to it. I thought these were deer, but there might be some kind of llama. Right, it's about quarter to eleven now. I'm about halfway up. <sighs> nice walk out of the town, up the lanes, and then uh, onto the fells. And can just see I'm not sure if you can actually but you can just see there the nine standards are there somewhere along here not sure if you can see but uh, yeah and you can clearly see the path going up so sunny and warm again today it's uh, day six today and uh, it's five days out of six it's been sunny and warm I didn't expect it to be this good it hasn't been boiling hot either it's just been nice and warm apart from yesterday but um, yeah so that's good and um, I forgot my sun cream for my legs and you saw them yesterday so uh, there we go and uh, yeah protect the old skin my old pegs looking back what a view to the north that's the Pennines on the right heading north swinging around Northwest, that's the Vale of Eden, right in front, and then far left. Not sure if you can see, but that, they're the Lake District Hills in the far distance. And uh, what a view! What a day! Look at that sky. It's fabulous. It's nine standards rig. <laughs> it's a bit windy. They're all pretty big and they're all really well made. Now, there's two different routes and they, they do that because of erosion and have to keep the paths in some decent state of repair. So you can see there, May, November, May, July and August, November. Today is July the 27th, so I should be following the red route, but I really wanted to go down Whitsundale, Beck, down that way. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to be a naughty boy and I'm going to go a few days early into the August-November Blue Route. Shh, don't tell anyone. This is a boundary stone between Cumbria and Yorkshire. I've made it! Now, better go on with some graft. I wasn't looking forward to these bogs on the top, but they are dry as a bone. It's even crunchy underfoot. And uh, for those of you that have been through here, most of you probably, it, you will have had quite a different experience. And I just wanted to 
show you this. I can walk through here so easy with the mobile phone in my hand. Normally, of course, it'd be a lot more difficult. It's not even muddy, it's just dry dirt and soft. This is the Whitsundale Beck. Where all else is quite bland moorland. This is a uh, twisty, turny, sinuous little river beck and uh, quite steep sides for moorland really. Over the tops and down into Swaledale. This is right at the head of the valley. Nice track to walk along. And uh, it's Raven Seat Farm right at the head of the valley. It's quite a big farm. And uh, oops, looks like they've done all the hay baling for the winter feed. Cream. Anybody? Look how many people are here. <laughs> In coast to coast terms, this is chock a block. I've never seen so many people on the entire walk, and I'm on day six. Right, I'm not stopping, I'm afraid. I'm carrying them because I'm only stopping in Kel, it's only about another two or three miles. So we just go up over this bridge. Swaledale and down there in the dip is Keld. Nearly at Keld now. Just uh, just came across the top of those trees up over there. But it's called a scar across the top, the foot, an extra footpath. And uh, it's just uh, gives you slightly better views looking down. But uh, anyway, on my journey across there, I found a sheep with its uh, still alive, with its head stuck in the fence, struggling like mad to get out. And I uh, didn't really know what to do. I didn't really know whether to try and help it and cause it more distress so it hurts itself more and maybe kicks out at me uh, so I just knocked on the door of the farmhouse back there and let them know they know the name of the farmer they're gonna give him a ring but uh, hope he sorts it out I've arrived Keld Lodge here it is used to be a youth hostel but uh, it's been renovated now and it's a hotel and restaurant and I've got B&B &B here tonight for the first time since um, St. Bees, so uh, it's all really peaceful and nice. It's uh, taken five and a half hours from Kobe Stephen, um, 12 miles. I was just taking my time, it's really nice. Had a good long break in the middle, and uh, another beautiful day. I booked a single room with a shared bathroom, but uh, free upgrade. Oh yes, upgraded to a twin room. Not that I need two beds, but they've got more space. Very nice. Views. Views to that side, views to this side. Very nice. Oh yes, all mod cans. Tea and coffee, marvellous. And, oh, what a bathroom compared to youth hostels. Nothing wrong with youth hostels, but you can't beat your own private bathroom, can you? I'm in my room. There's a mad thunderstorm passing right overhead. I've never seen as much lightning. There's one every like five seconds. 
Whoa, another one. Shit, whoa. Blimey. 